Hey guys, well, I hope you saw part one. In this part, part two, we're going to be doing the UV mapping. Here we go. This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keysha. All right, guys, so we have this guy set up for UV. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go up to, uh, we're going to make sure it's selected in object mode, select everything. We're going to go up to UV and let's do a simple automatic projection. Not because that will give us the desired results, but at least our object will have a UV to work with. So that's set up. We're now going to go to UV and UV editor and we'll get a whole bunch of stuff here. Don't worry about it. We're going to close this guy. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up and I'm going to turn on my grid, my checkered grid, so you can have an idea of uh, proportions and whatnot. Okay, there you go. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to right click and go to UV shell. I'm going to drag click all of this stuff. Okay, and then I'm going to right click and go to uh, modify, uh, actually, no, to cut and sew, and then to move and sew, which will create one huge blob. Okay, now don't worry about it. Like I said, uh, that's intentional. From here on out, what we're going to do is we're going to start to create uh, objects one by one and we're going to start to UV them one by one, right? So I want to work with the top hammer section first. So I'm going to go in here to UV shell and uh, actually this end to edge, sorry. And I'm going to start to create edges. Now, just to make things a little bit easier without seeing this checkered pattern here, I'm just going to turn that off. Let's go to wireframe and I'm going to double click on where I want my seams to be. Now on the edge, of course, so I'm going to double click here and I'm going to go in here, right click, go to cut and sew and then click on cut. So I'll create a cut right there. I'll do the same here, jitter repeat, and I'll put one somewhere down here from here to here and hit jitter repeat again. So we have all that, right? And what I'll do here just to make things a bit easier to see, there you go, is I'll just select the hammer section. So seam both ends, seam right there. Now I want to have some more seams, so I'm going to go in here, one right there, hit G to cut, one right there, G to cut. We're going to go in here, we're going to double click here, G to cut, and double click here, and G to cut. So these are all the cuts I want for the main hammer section. So now if we go in here and we right click and go to UV shell, drag click all of that and go to modify and unfold we'll get something like this kind of a mess right well that's okay because we need to position them properly and whatnot so let's just uh, pull these uh, parts apart we're going to select all of it we're going to go to uh, let's see um, modify and we're going to go to uh, layout let's do unfold first just to make sure and then we're going to go to modify and layout and it's going to put everything apart from each other, not necessarily tidy, but apart from each other. Okay. Now we're going to take this guy. We're going to hit E to rotate. We're going to move this uh, vertical. We'll do the same here. We'll take this guy and then we'll rotate that until it's square. We'll take this and rotate it until it's square or level. That's what I mean. And of course they don't have the right size just yet but we'll worry about that in a minute. So let me just move this up here. We'll take this, we'll rotate that guy. And usually I'm not explaining all these steps, so it will be much quicker, but you know, it is a tutorial, so. And we'll move that up, all right? Okay, so it's time to turn back on our checker pattern here. And I'll go in here and hit five, and then turn that on. We're going, to, we're going to go up to this guy and there you go and there you have it now as you can see here um, the ends they seem to be quite large these in the middle are a bit smaller and then these are quite tiny and these are bigger again and so forth so let's see if we can make some sense out of all of this right so we've got our two ends here these guys so what we're going to do is we're going to hit w and we're going to move this up to the corner for now and because this is one of the main pieces here, we're going to hit R to scale this up a little bit, all right? Something like this. Then we'll take this guy, we'll hit W, we'll move it up here, and we'll try to get as close as possible to that guy. Just hit R and scale it up a little bit. 
hit W, bring that in like so, and turn that back on. So this is going to be kind of our, our uh, aiming point. Now let's see what's connected first, this guy right here, okay? So we're going to hit W, we're going to move this in here, and let's see if we can scale this to a point where these checkers are aligned, okay? Now this seems to be pretty close, looks like. Yeah, so that would be about it. We're going to move this, and we might need to rotate it slightly. There you go. Which means that the next one, which would be this one from the other end, we're going to flip that around. Excuse me. And we're going to hit R and scale that up again. Not the E, come on, R, scale that up. We're going to hit W, I'm going to bring that in here. We're going to scale it some more. That looks to be pretty good. So let's bring that in here. And this guy needs to move a little bit. And let's see how close we are. a bit better seems like we need to rotate a little bit All right, so then we have these guys. Okay, there's some scaling issues going on there. So let's see what we need to do. We need to make them a bit smaller. So let's get them into sync here. Tried to get pretty close anyway. That's about the right size, so we're going to hit W, we're going to move that in. We're going to take the next one, we're going to flip it around. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale it down again. Let's hit W, kind of get in line with this guy. E to rotate. And then scale a little bit. Until it's pretty much the size of the other guy. Scale it some more. And now we're going to have a look. And that seems to be about right. And then what's left, we have this guy. Okay, that did some work, of course. So let's see what we got. We're going to make it a bit smaller. Try to get pretty close to what we have so far. That would be about it. And there you go. So that's the main body part. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to repeat the process for the rest of the hammer. And then we should be ready to go. Okay. I'm going to do that in time lapse because it's just a repetition of the same process over and over and over. Uh, but you can follow along and if it's going too fast, you can just uh, slow it down and have a better look of what's going on, right?
well they have it guys there's our uh, UV and that's what I'm gonna work with and uh, the next step in the process is to texture this guy right so see you guys in the next video bye well thanks for watching and before you go please hit that MH button to subscribe okay see you guys next time bye